I am Araz Arazlam? Arazlam, student of Evilus's middle age. You are familiar with the War of the Lions, no? It was a bitter war of succession, one that rent the lands of Ivalice in two. Here we first find mention of Delita Heral, a hitherto unknown young man, the hero who would draw the curtain on this dark act of our history. His is a heroism of great renown, a story familiar to all who dwell within our land. Ah, but what the eye sees is oft times a mere fragment of the truth. There was another young man, the youngest of House Beloved, long famed for producing leaders of knights and men. There is no official record of the role he played on history's stage. However, According to the Durai Papers, the Durai Report, <laughs> the existence of which became known to the public only this last year, they had long laid concealed from the Churchar archives. This forgotten young man is in fact the true hero. The Church maintains he was a heretic, an inciter of unrest and disruptor of the peace. Which account is to be believed? Join me in my search to uncover the answer. Ah, but before we begin, I might ask you to share with me your name and the date of your birth? Might I? That is. Uh -huh. So hey! It's me, Chaos Blue, and I'm doing another test run for my new recording software, which, by the way, in case you're wondering, is OBS, which is actually for streaming but it makes a surprisingly good video recorder as well. As it happened, as it so happens, um, I needed to test some weird resolution things, and this is a really good way to do so. Which is just as well, because, well, you'll see. So, we're Ramza. Ramza, when should we be? When should our birthday be? Um, hmm. Let me think. How about? Oh, I have an idea, actually. This is going to take a minute, though. Um, I should have thought about this ahead of time. Whoops. Let's see, where is it? It is... in that one. Number one. Which is... Sure. We're going to go with June the 1st, the day that I uploaded the very first video to my channel, which makes us Gemini, apparently. Yeah, that that makes sense. I could have sworn I uploaded my first video in July, though. Well, whatever. We're doing it. So, in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is in fact the PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics. Because, well, because we get cool cutscenes and a completely redone vocal track, among other things. But no, more, but more importantly, because it lets me test those weird PSP resolutions. Which are a little bit tricky, if I'm being totally honest. Yep. 
It is indeed. Fun fact, the PSP is about two pixels off from being 16 by 9. Two freaking pixels. That just pisses me off. That alone caused me more trouble than you would believe trying to work out. Because it just threw off all of my frame size calculations. It's also in a, re in a sort of weird resolution that's actually larger than my upload. So, you know, processing this video is going to necessitate changing the size of the video. Which is going to be a little bit iffy. For me. But, you know, hopefully it'll work out. In any case, let's watch the cool cutscene. Let's continue to watch the cool cutscene, I should say. Oh yeah, and of course the letterbox, the ho Well, can you really call that letterboxing though? You know what, I'm gonna stop talking about the video for a second. I just wanna actually watch what's happening. It got remade for this, damn it. This cutscene was. N these cutscenes were not on the PS1. Hmm, that looks familiar. Where have I seen that before? Hmm, this looks like some kind of building. Oh, Father, abandon not your wayward children. Oh, it's going way too fast. Wow. Lady Olivia, it is time. I'll not be much longer, Agrius. Your escort has arrived already your majesty you know you know she's not at your majesty is not technically a correct title of address for her but i'm not gonna go on that tangent just now please heed the good lady's words highness you must hurry Still here, are ya? It's been a better part of an hour. Gafgarian, you forget yourself, sir. You are in the presence of a princess. This gender ambiguous person is a woman, by the way. Just, just, just in case you were wondering, <laughs> it is actually she is actually a little bit ambiguous until people start actually addressing her as such. Mayhap bowed heads would uh, less offend. You would do well to waste less time on idle pleasantries. I see even the noble order of the northern sky cannot rid itself of vulgar knaves. A guard captain in these rain-sodden hinderlands ought not expect chivalry. We are an employ of the order, not of it. Our pay does not cover trite con courtesies to the likes of you. Oh, Gafgarian. Oh, Gafgarian. <laughs> Enough. Let us be on our way. The Father watch over you, child. And you, Elder. Hmm. Milady, the enemy is upon us. Duke Goltana's men? Wait, no, that's, that's the priest. Ooh, whatever. Look, there's a lot of characters in here. Not everyone is going to get their own voice. And a lot of people who do get their own voices are going to get screwed up. Even... 
Well, you know, I'm really looking too far ahead in saying that, aren't I? In any case... What is it, Ramza? You above get getting paid to do a job? I'm a knight no longer, just another sellsword. To right then, to battle. Deliver us, O oh Lord. Ah, uh, those audio bugs are kind of really bothering me. That, on the other hand, was not an audio bug. That's thunder. They bear the crest of the Black Lion. Duke Gold Tana must be mad! Does he mean to start a war? You there, wench! You cannot hope to defeat us! You will surrender the princess! If not, well, I'd hate to see anything happen to that pretty face of yours. As I said, she's a girl. A head on assault. These swords of Goltena lack wits, one and all. In that case, we should be able to handle this without you, Gafgarian. Mayhap you could, but there's no money to be made in that. Lad, Ramza, with me! So, this is actually a tutorial battle. We can only control Ramza, and all of our allies are on automatic. Kill them all! Leave no man standing! You would have us slaughter them? Are you mad? Kill them here and you'll have played into Duke Goltana's hands. We need only put them to rout. I find dead man mo rout more easily. Well, you, you know, he does, he does have a point. Is that ticking supposed to be the rain? That is a little bit disappointing, I gotta be honest. It has a nice, satisfying, sharp sound to it in the PS1 version. But, what you gonna do? Uh, adjust my camera angle is what I'm gonna do. Don't zoom out, though. Never zoom out. No, you can zoom out if you want. Um, let's see. I could throw a rock at him. Which would deal 12 damage if I'm lucky. Those damage numbers are not always accurate. Uh, no, that that's the one that heals. No, here's status alignment. That's the one that heals people. Um, is this the... What? I could have sworn... I guess it's randomized. Whatever. Last time I did this, I had... A different ability set. So yeah, this one is totally randomized. Let's just throw the rock, I guess. Yep, we did half the display damage. Cause, you know, that's that's worthwhile. Judgment Blade! So, overall, I think that, oh yeah, notice that the black bars on the, along the top and bottom, um, are, should no longer be there? <laughs> I say should, because I don't know how this will turn out after editing, but they were there for the cinematic, which for some reason needed to be like, I don't even know what resolution that would be, like, what, 16, 8, 7? Not 16.9. 16.9 would have, as previously stated, required trimming all of 
two pixels off the bottom. And that was considerably more. Haha, -ha, shield block! Yeah, you can hit her if you want, I guess. Doesn't really make any difference to me. Shadow Blade! Wait. I'm. Was this Night Sword or was the other one the Night Sword? One of them was Dark Sword and one of them was Night Sword. I think? That, that sounds right to me. Anyway. Anyway. Let's just. Let's just kill an archer. That, uh, you know, when it's our turn. That is. Oh, the chemist is down. And she leveled up. That's pretty good, I guess. Um. Well, we might be able to kill him anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can. Take that, bait. Well, he's not really bait, though, is he? Anyway. Incidentally, that somewhat laggy experience you may be noticing is not from emulating or recording or anything of the sort. That is because this game was not ported very well. And it's sort of just built in to the exper play experience of Final Fantasy Tactics The Lion Wars. What what did he just do? I clearly should have been paying better attention. Yeah, somewhat surprisingly, quite apart from the occasionally buggy but overall pretty good audio, it's bothering me a surprisingly large amount. Uh, he's the only guy left, right? I don't really want to stand here, because that guy just threw a rock at him. So, I guess I'll go over here and throw a rock at him. Oh, or better yet, I can throw a rock at him from here. Haha! -ha! Like, how petty can you get? Seriously. <laughs> oh, and then she went and stood in front of him anyway. Wow. Actually, is he throwing a rock? He's he's clearly not, because he's charging for something. I've Maybe he's using magic. Hmm. Well, whatever he's doing, he missed. The knight, that is. Oh, wait, no. He did target the knight. My mistake. Not very strong magic, is it? Hmm. But... Hmm. Well, hopefully this turns out. I mean, it looks pretty good from first glance, but I can't really tell for certain until I've actually edited it. So hopefully it turns out. But, if not, then I guess it's not the end of the world. I'll just have to do something else. I suppose. Ha ha! We get the final hit. That's satisfying. Oh, you know what? I should have thrown a rock at him. Hit him in the back of the head with a rock. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh well. And it's cutscene time again. This was definitely not a cutscene in the, princess. the PS1. This way, be quick, and try making a little less noise. I'll not take orders from you. You've quite a mouth on you, princess. I gotta be honest. Forgive me. Tis your birth and faith that wrong you, not I. I kind of like the scene better when it's not a cutscene. Hold there. Although it's much more obvious that she's a girl in the cutscene. Is it truly him? Hmm. 
Was he always wearing that armor here? That doesn't seem quite right to me, either. Yeah, he should have, like, this purple vest thing going on. Well, I say vest. It's not really a vest. It's more of, like, a big sweater tunic armor thing. But... But his top shirt shouldn't be the... Why does he fight under the banner of Ducal Tone? It shouldn't be the black armor with Spike's villainy. It should be, like, this purple thing. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm stopping off here. Bye! <laughs>